Hey guys, welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about a film that won Best Picture recently at the Oscars. Um, not so much recently, because you know the Oscars are pretty much long done by now. Um, but that is the 2016 Best Picture winner, Moonlight. Uh, finally got around to seeing it. Didn't get a chance to see it around um, Oscar season. Uh, so finally got around to you know seeing it for myself and seeing what I thought of it. Uh, so in this movie, guys, Moonlight, uh, this young boy who's always being picked on by bullies. He's basically taken in by this man that um, is kind of willing to just kind of give him a chance and become friends with him and so forth. Uh, he's kind of the father figure for him since um, he's raised by a single mother who is very much addicted to drugs and just really isn't a good role model for him. So as time progresses, as he's growing older as this child, he's still... Um, seeing this guy, kind of getting advice from him, seeing what certain terminology means and so forth. And, um, you know, we later follow him into his teen years. So this is a, definitely a film where the first act is his childhood years, the second act is his teenage years, and the third act is his adult years. Uh, so, you know, through his teenage years, he kind of sees this guy still not really... Um, but he's still being picked on by bullies. It's actually even worse by high school. And um, by then, he's starting to kind of know what his preferences are, kind of slowly realizing where his place in the world is and so forth. Um, so he's having these preferences. He's um, He sees this guy that's kind of his friend, kind of just somebody who he knows really well and so forth. And that's kind of where he's trying to figure out where he is, you know, where he stands and so forth, uh, what he is... Uh, most interested in and so forth, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, and, you know, obviously this goes into it, his adult years. Uh, the friend that he was seeing that kind of made him question all this uh, is kind of out of his life at this point. Uh, so it's later in his adult years, and he randomly gets a phone call from the very man that um, he hasn't spoken to in a long time. Uh, he finds out that he's at this restaurant and um, that he's kind of, you know, just living life the best way he can, that he found this really good job that took him in at this restaurant, uh, that he has a wife and child. Uh, you know, it's not a perfect marriage, but it's it's something that, you know, he's holding on to and is happy with and so forth. Um, so the two men eventually get together at this restaurant where they kind of decide officially once and for all kind of where they stand with each other, uh, where those certain get-togethers when they were younger meant anything or not. Uh, so it's a film where this man is trying to find his place in the world and ultimately where this guy that kind of questioned where he stood with things um, finally gets answered during his adult years. So overall, guys, I wasn't completely blown away with Moonlight. I know a lot of people really like this movie. I know Rotten Tomatoes gave it really strong reviews. Um, almost any movie review website will give this really strong reviews. Um, I didn't hate the movie. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't absolutely love it. You know, I wouldn't even say, I, I don't even think I would call it good. Uh, but there's parts of it I liked. There's things I was okay with. Um, I thought it was an okay experience that got a little overhyped for the Oscars, so I'm going to go over some positives and negatives of why I kind of felt this way. Uh, so for my positives and negatives of Moonlight, um, I really did feel sorry for this lead character. He was just picked on on all these bullies. His mother figure was really not treating him very well. Uh, I just felt very sorry for his situation. Um, you know, it's. It, I think it was important for this guy to be able to form his preferences and form kind of where he stood with things without people kind of picking on him and doing all this really horrible stuff. So obviously we really feel sorry for him. He's, you know, he's just trying to figure out who he is and what he wants and so forth. So they did a good job really making sure that we felt sympathetic towards this lead character of Sharon in this movie. I also thought the musical score was very good and very fitting for this movie. Um, I definitely felt the musical score kind of fit in with the situations that the Sharon character um based throughout this movie. Uh, so I thought they did a good job with handling, you know, what exactly the score should be for this and where that score was placed during certain scenes for this movie. Um, I also thought the film did a good job feeling tense when it needed to um, and really making sure that, you know, these rough neighborhoods really felt rough when they were showing those and when he was around people that very much were out to hurt him and uh, do these really horrible things to him. And even when we aren't focusing on him, we're kind of focusing on this father figure person that's in his life and him trying to, um, you know, look around and seeing what's going on and figure out what exactly this mom is doing when he's not watch when she's not watching Sharon and so forth. Um, so they did a good job uh, making sure things felt tense and felt rough when they needed to be. 
And overall, I thought the acting was pretty suitable for the most part. Um, I know the guy who kind of played that father figure character, um, I know he got an Oscar for his role, and he did a very good job. He did a very good job with the role. Uh, probably one of the more likable characters in this movie. Um, you know, the, the actors who played Sharon, both the child, the teenager, and the adults, I guess all three of them, all of them did a very good job. Uh, Naomi Harris, who I've liked for a long time, you know, I, I like her in the Pirates of the Caribbean films. I liked her in the James Bond movies. I liked her in Collateral Beauty, even though that movie itself wasn't that great. So she's obviously proven herself as an actress. I knew she was going to be great in this movie, regard, even though this is a very different role for, compared to what I'm seeing her doing. Um, so I thought acting-wise, the movie was fine. Everybody did a good job with that, so you know, this Barry Jenkins, who I think directed this movie. Um, he did a good job directing everybody as far as acting goes, so that part was good. Um, and going over the father figure again, I, I really liked that character. I thought it was very, um, this kid really much needed that kind of person in his life, so I thought that part of the movie worked very well also. And then also I liked how, because I did hear somewhere that the child actor, the teenage actor, and the adult actor, they never really met each other in real life until I think the film was done with. And that's really impressive because I really felt like I was watching that same person as a child, as a teenager, and as an adult as we switched from, you know, three different actors over the course of the movie. So the three of them did a great job making sure that this was the same character, that we are watching a growing character grow into adulthood and trying to figuring out, you know, where he stands and where he is with stuff. So I, I thought all three of them really made sure that this was the same character the whole time. So huge applause to them. I, I thought that was very well done in the movie. But for my negatives of this movie and kind of why I really don't see it in the same light as maybe some other people do, um, I thought some of the art house shots in this movie, um, specifically with, uh, Sharon's friend that he meets up at a restaurant later in the movie there's a scene where he's smoking and I think it's just there strictly for art house purposes um, I thought certain scenes like that and there's a certain scene where he's washing his face in the bathroom and so forth I feel like they're just trying to be there for art house purposes just trying to make the film look more art artistic and you know artsy and so forth I really don't see you know, maybe they were trying to aim for something unique, but I felt that they were just kind of there to be there, and they really didn't completely serve a purpose to this movie. Um, another huge negative I had with this movie is I thought some of the editing was very weak. Um, there's some scenes that are just random events that are glued together in the editing room and don't really match well together when they're faced side by side. Um, there was a scene where the, the mom basically comes up to him and, like, uh, just starts talking to him and he's just kind of in a completely different place before that scene happens and so forth so there's a lot of things like that where it's just like well how do they get from there to there and how do they get from there to there and so forth so as far as like a timeline goes and how certain things are placed and why they're placed together I felt that was could have used more thinking and more considering as far as constructing the film goes and editing um, another negative I had with the movie was I thought the first act was very slow. It was just a very slow moving first act that took a long time to really get into play of what the movie was about and so forth. Um, and I also thought certain characters kind of completely vanished from the story after a while. The father figure character alone completely vanishes by the third act. Um, I think the last time we see him is when he's a teenager and after that he just completely gone from the movie. Same with the girlfriend that he's living with in this movie. Uh, so certain characters just vanish and that's just kind of the end of them. Um, and I also thought some of the bully stereotypes are very just generic and boring. Uh, they were just your typical bullies in a movie. Um, some critics claimed that the bullies felt like well-rounded and developed. I certainly didn't think so. Um, I thought they were pretty standard bullies from what you see in other movies involving bullying in school districts and stuff. So pretty stereotyped regarding that kind of stuff. And overall, there was just a lot of really unlikable characters in this movie. I understand, you know, that the, the Naomi Harris character was not meant to be liked and so forth. And a lot of these bullies that he faces in the schools are not really meant to be liked either. But overall, besides the father figure and besides feeling sorry for Sharon, I really didn't care about anybody. I, I just really couldn't feel invested in these characters. They were just very unlikable people. Uh, some of them were just mean to be mean. Um, so as far as that goes, I just really didn't get behind that too well. So overall, I'm going to give Moonlight a 7 out of 10. Um, it, it works well when it works well. Like I said, I felt sorry for the lead character. Um, the musical score worked fine in the movie. It was tense when it needed to. It felt rough when it needed to. 
Um, the acting was very good. I liked that father figure character, the actor who won an award for this movie. Um, and the three actors did a good job making sure that this was the same character we were following throughout the whole movie. But unfortunately, weak editing, worthless art house shots, a very slow first act, um, characters completely vanishing from the story after a while without any type of closure. Um, the bully stereotypes and the unlikable characters is ultimately why I didn't like this movie as much as I wanted to. So 7 out of 10 for me. It was a little disappointing. Um, I thought another film could have won Best Picture like La La Land or some other better contender for Best Picture. So 7 out of 10 for me. Not a great movie. Um, see it if you were just curious like I do and see why it, why it won Best Picture and so forth. I'm personally not one that would recommend this movie, but if you just want to see it to see it, it won't hurt you.